Now, the COVID-19 pandemic is a global health crisis that affected the economy immensely. This impact was also felt by the food and agriculture sector. The sector faced challenges like animal feed price increases and disruptions of food supply due to the pandemic. With the finance minister, Ino Kodongwana, due to deliver his budget speech this afternoon, the agricultural sector in the northwest province has certain expectations. One of those farmers is Gidumezi Klabi from uh, Klapeng uh, in Mahikeng. She started farming in 2013 with small stock and developed a business mode and plan that eventually led to her business growing. Like many farmers, Gidumezi is facing various challenges. Our reporter Debo Hopagedi talks to Klabi about her expectations. In Mahigeng, that is in the northwest province. Clearly, as you can see behind me, some of the employees employed by Dumihabi uh, here in the province really working, as you can see behind me. But I can just say that uh, the farming sector, the agricultural sector, is one of the sectors expecting a lot from the Minister of Finance, that is Enoch Gorongwana, as he is intended as is expected to table his uh, budget speech his maiden budget speech later today but i can just tell you that as much as the northwest province really is one of the provinces leading when it comes to the agricultural sector many small scale farmers in the province are quite not satisfied having a lot of expectations from the minister as far as uh, the budget allocation that will be heading to the department of agriculture one of those is kitumetsi Tabi, who i will be engaging with just now. Thank you so much, Kitu Medze, for joining us. Just tell us a bit your background. Just tell us about yourself as a farmer. How many years have you been farming and so forth? Okay. I started farming in 2013 with only four goats that I had um, inherited from my father. Yes. So I now expanded, um, developed my business model to be able to plant vegetables and buy cattle and other animals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we know that the Minister of Finance will be tabling his maiden budget speech later today. What are your expectations when it comes to the assistance that you as farmers need? Um, my expectations is, is for the allocated budget to reach down to us farmers, um, not for it to be just on paper. I think that's the, the ultimate thing that I'm hoping. Yeah. If you can just elaborate more on that, you know, we, we understand that you've been having uh, several challenges like many of the farmers in the province. Just give us your challenges. And when you say the budget to go down, the blueprint must reach these farmers. What do you mean when you say that? Um, you find that the department would, would come to a person like me to say, um, we are assisting you with X, Y and Z. But... Do the paper really, really go down to the farmer like me? Or is it just going to be ticked as a deliverable on paper so that they look good on the paper when they're doing the reporting? Mm. Um, you find that, yes, a, a 2.5 billion is allocated to farmers. But how much of the 2.5 billion actually gets to people like me? Um, and utilized accordingly. Mm. Monitoring of projects that are being assisted by the department to the farmers. Um, you find it, which is very strange, um, you find a department coming to a farmer like me to say, um, we are going to give you, for instance, uh, 50 chicken. Um, they just come and they give you the 50 chicken whilst they bought them at very inflated prices from, for instance, from a white farmer. They come and give you the, the chicken and then um, when there isn't progress or there isn't even training provided for that farmer, it is being set up for failure. I mean, how do you give somebody something that's a tool without equipping them with uh, proper skills? Do you understand? You're just going to give the, the, the farmer X, Y, and Z things that you believe that makes you look good on paper as a department. But how certain are you that you're actually empowering this, this, this farmer as, 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 as a small-scale farmer? Um, so it, 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 it all goes down to how far do you make sure that the money goes the mileage. Excuse me. You know how 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 far do we go with 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 making sure that um, the money that's allocated does what's intended to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. We do rather saying there that uh, the budget that is allocated should not look good only on paper, but they should be able to see what the department is doing. I see that you have planted potatoes here and your employees are cleaning. But let us talk about the issue of land. 
We saw last year former Minister Tito Mboweni allocating one billion to the Department of Agriculture with the department saying we are about we are going to assist about seventy thousand small scale farmers with a certain number of hectares when it comes to land. Now the issue of land is quite important to a farmer. But earlier on you were talking about yes we do want the land but we need to look at certain aspects. Just give us uh, more elaboration on that okay getting land um, anybody can get land you know you can get allocated the land but um, what I see happening right now is that you get allocated land that is not farmable it cannot produce it's um, in areas where it's dry whereas um, farmers that are advancing mostly who are white um, are allocated and own farms that are in good, good, good climate areas where they need at least less resources, mm. you know, to be able to sustain their farms. Whereas you get a, a, a farmer who is starting out, who goes to, who gets allocated a, a huge piece of land that is barren, you know, that is bushy, that one cannot really say, this is where I'm going to start and at least hear the, the rainfall or the weather, the climate is favorable for the projects that I want to do here. Mm. So the quality of land that's being allocated is also questionable to a certain extent. Mm. Um, so the, the department also needs to look at that. You cannot just say, okay, here's land, go, go farm. Mm. You know, climate and the area which the land is being allocated is very important. Mm. If you are going to be planting, can the department say, this is a good area? that we can allocate for farmers because X, Y, and Z. I think we have, we, have, we have professionals, we have specialists within the department that can advise to say, okay, um, according to even the predictions of the weather, this is a good land to do X, Y, and Z, which is, is able to be allocated. It's under allocation. So we can allocate it to one, two, three, four kind of farmers for this kind of, for, for, to ensure that they are successful in whatever they're doing. Yeah, understood. Now, you are in partnership with Bitumelo Mono, I understand, who's also looking at the livestock uh, section of the agricultural sector. You did talk about how COVID-19 really hit you as farmers, as much as you were part of the essential sectors. However, uh, the, the, the insinuation wouldn't be you were thriving at that point. Just talk to us more about that. Um, I wouldn't say that it was, it was um, a good time for, for business because still resources were limited. I mean, as much as the products that I produce were in demand, um, we don't have proper roads to be transporting the goods. That's the first point. When we're speaking uh, about infrastructure as, as farmers, we're not just talking irrigation and for our farms. We're talking accessibility to the markets. Mm. We're talking logistics. Um, I, I can have a client in Limpopo who wants, um, you know, six tons of, of potatoes. But if I'm not able to arrange uh, properly logistically uh, for a truck to come and load mm. and you know roads are actually not even marked yeah. how do people know this this is slapping you just go by instinct mm. you know if i don't send you location you're going to get lost roads are not are not are not drivable and um, it makes it difficult for us to access you know the market so it's it's when we're talking infrastructure as farmers we're not just talking about um tools that we need. We, we're talking about things like that, like uh, proper labeling um, or, or branding of the roads, uh, proper infrastructure of the road. Um, can, can, can I drive and take my, my, my stock to town? Yeah. You know, yeah. so those are the challenges that uh, COVID also brought. And also um, not being able to meet targets because of those things. Um, as much as I was an essential worker or uh, need it didn't mean that I was reaching my targets and making more than I should uh, because um, people got sick. Um, a few people also who are employees passed on, which means I was left with, you know, with shortage of and people not wanting to come to work because of the risks, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I think I think it, it, it was a bit of a challenge when it comes to, to COVID-19, to be honest. Thank you.
thank you so much for your time. That was Kidumetze Khabi, a small-scale farmer here in the Northwest province. You've seen uh, several sectors talking of infrastructure. You go to education, there's education infrastructure. The same with the agricultural sector. Many saying we use roads to transport our goods. We use road for several purposes. We need water. Saying that as much as sometimes we are even nearer to certain dams, we need also the rights to access such water. Saying load shedding continues to be a problem because they need electricity some on a daily basis this these are the sentiments if i can just say this read that as the minister of finance will be tabling his maiden national budget speech later on today expectations are existing when you look into uh, the farming sector really when we talk of food security you can just imagine how these farmers are saying we need assistance from the department of agriculture as kitumeza has put it it is quite good it's exceptional on paper but when you go down to the ground they are saying that they are not experiencing or even uh, the promises that were made are not delivered i spoke to her earlier on she was saying she hasn't seen any official from the department of agriculture in the past three years that really saying the department of agriculture's presence is quite needed on the ground back to you in studio as we await and see how the day will unfold as we await the minister to table his budget speech